Hello, welcome to another episode of SVA Design. In this episode, I wanted to make a couple of adjustments. As you can see, um, the ports where the uh, spark plugs go through kind of black. Uh, the air intake port and especially the air exhaust port. So I wanted to change. Um, I wanted to change that. So I'm going to rise these up a little bit higher. I also wanted to make um, the air intake port at a 45 degree angle to this surface right here so that it basically sits flat once it's attached to uh, the v-shaped engine and uh, if, you, if you have it sitting flat the air can flow directly down into the cylinder instead of having it to come at an angle so we can uh, in that way we can design a, a air intake manifold that works more efficient uh, so I'll show you that in a second and um, yeah, that's basically it for this episode. That's uh, what we're going to do for this episode. The first thing we kind of want to do is to um, roll back to about this point right here, or no, way further before the before we made the valves right here. So kind of to the lofted area. So sort of here. The first thing I want to do is make sure that this surface is correct. So to check. So to make sure that this is at a 90 degree angle, so we can also roll back the uh, the exhaust air, the ex air exhaust port. And the first thing we need to do is make everything higher. So the way we can do that is um, to alter this the height of everything. So instead of having it um, as a 20 millimeter offset, I think it would work if you have a 50 millimeter offset. And as you can see, it doesn't really change anything. Um, but you can basically delete everything because we're just going to do it over. And I'm just going to show you how to make it in a 45 degree angle because in a previous episode I already showed you um, how to do the port completely. Only delete the lines for the air intake valve. You can keep everything that has to do with air exhaust. So um, to start off, let's select this surface right here and click on sketch and make a center line and also make a line that has a 45 degree angle to that line so to do that click on the smart dimensions select this line and also select this line and instead of 32 make it a 45 we also know that this line is 70 millimeters long so we also want this one to be 70 millimeters long And now we can exit the smart dimensions and go to offset entities and offset the entities um, in both directions to about 1.5 millimeters. And and at the bottom draw two lines that make that close the rectangle. Click on extrude boss base and click double click this surface to make it up to that surface. And let's erase the original one. So draw a rectangle and um, also use the convert entities tool on the original sketch that we used. And you can now just drag this out through all. And what we end up with is something that looks a bit more like this. So we can now use the circle tool from the center of the circle, the center of this line right here, and make a circle that has a radius of about 30 millimeters. And also do the same on this plane right here. So select the plane and click on sketch and make a circle that is three millimeters bigger than um, 
this original circle right here. Like so. And you can now delete the original sketch on the inside. And you can now make some guidelines. In a previous episode, I already showed you how to make the ports, the air in and exhaust port uh, in Sooner. So that's why I kind of spe speed it through them. Um, I could leave a link in the description for that video. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Also, make sure that you follow me on Twitter at SBA Design um, to keep posted on whatever I do. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.